So, uh, hey guys, this is Buffalo Brotherhood, and I'm Ryan, and this is Heroes of the Storm. Now, I've recorded a couple other episodes you're going to see after this episode that uh, I don't do a whole lot of talking. I'm playing with some friends and so forth. We're just sort of hanging out. Uh, but I thought I'd record this episode here um, with just a bunch of random people here. We're playing versus AI, just sort of complete the quest. But uh, a friend of the show or, or co host of the show, Doug, is on the next two videos. And, and a friend of ours we played with, Kilden, is in there too. He had some computer problems and, and ended up dropping out. But. Uh, we were just playing and I was just recording some episodes to see what was happening. Just sort of, you know, I don't know. I like to play it. I like to record what I play, so we did it. But we weren't really commentating or talking about much of what was going on. So I thought I'd play one more. So uh, the way this works is there's all kinds of, there, I think there's like six or seven different maps. And, and I am by no means an expert. As you see that I'm only level 50. And this guy here is level 470 something. So uh, the game's been out for about two years. It's made by Blizzard, who are the people that make War of Warcraft, uh, Diablo, um... Uh, Overwatch uh, and Starcraft uh, those are their big ones uh, and uh, I'm playing a support range character Malfurion who can entangle people and also just uh, do a little heal and do a small nuke in the in the way of a um, <clears throat> in the way of a, uh, a moonbeam or moonfire I guess I probably should have played somebody that's better on their own, like a Sylvanas or something. Systems but uh, the benefit is that this is only a two-lane map. So anywhere I go, I'm going to be the third. So I'll go up here and, and hit these people, I guess. Oh, that person doesn't want to be here. Okay, that's all right. I don't know what this character is. That a, I thought it was a Varian. Yeah, I think it's a Varian, which means that I can heal him and he can do damage. And that'll be good. I'll just try to nuke people and... Essentially, sort of stay out of his way. Now, the gist with this map is that uh, there's these little portals, pads over here that will energize, and then uh, depending on how long we hold the, the energized, uh, we could have more or less waves. Oh, I missed him. That's okay, though. I want to stay away from Sonya. Sonya can be nasty. And we threw him a heal. Um, throw him another heal. I'm not going to get another heal on him, I don't think. Yeah, we tried. Uh, these guys are awful high damage. Now, Varian can do high damage as well, or he can be a bit of a tank. He can soak up the damage. Oh, get away from that. So right now we're just uh, uh what well, I, I think it was a compliment um but uh he uh, he left me uh, you're not gonna go toe to toe with her Okay. We gotta come down here. In seven seconds. Now the benefit here with AI is, you know, we we know what the targets are. We don't we don't necessarily worry too much. About it. So look at the other thing. We go right for it. So if we get a bigger Zerg rush. It will help us done. make some headway. Uh, which will be good for us, because right now we're not getting much headway. But maybe they're doing better luck down at the bottom, because there's so three of them. Well, if I get too close here, I'm going to start getting hit by their walls. Yeah, I, I want to avoid that. Let's see, we're going to do... Uh, this, this spell spawns a tree ant, which will help attack things. That wasn't a very good use of them, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, I don't have any mana, so we're going to run back here and get a drink from this little station here, which about, I think it's every 90 seconds, 120 seconds, so every two minutes. You can get a little pit stop for If you need to be healed between those times, you can... Find a healer like myself, or um, Enemy destroyed. 
like head back. We do have this one, right? We do, but the Zerg's not really building up as quickly as I would have thought they would. Do we have the bottom one? The land and I are one. This thing is pretty out of ammunition. He's got a Probius, which is uh, not Probius, uh, Abathur, which is another type of uh, hero. That's a bit of a range support. We have the Probius is back here, so sets up these crystals and turrets uh, to do different damage and do different things, create visibility and so forth. Um, I'm not going to talk much about my build because my build's not. I, I don't really have like a like a build, and I, I don't want to present. I have done the research or the knowledge. Around. I typically just try to go with what's in my gut, and um, like what's in my gut, and sort of like what do I feel like would be the best for the map I'm doing right now. Like um, I'm doing a lot of healing, so I might pick a few extra healing talents than I would be if I was per se by myself. But yeah, I can't help you through that. I can't help you through that. Uh, so far the game's going okay. We are we're definitely more on their side of the map than they are on our side of the map. Uh, I wasn't sure what happened with the Zerg rush though, whether we made it through or we didn't. Uh, so the got rooted. We're gonna do our damage there if we can. And I didn't I missed it, didn't click on my set. Nature will. Hopefully it's been two minutes. Oh, yeah. Grab another drink. My mana bar is out again. Head back into the fray. You can also go up here. There's on this particular map. There's some health up there as well. But uh, I think you want to think. You want to always remember is you know objective, 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 objective. Let me go activate this beacon, and then I'm going to meet the Probius. Wherever he is. The beacons are now online. Please keep them out of enemy hands. The land and now we'll come down here. That was not hard. For Kalimdor. I haven't seen Grey Man here at all. I'm gonna stay on him if I can. I got a decent range weapon. Wish I could get just a little. Oh. Okay, so we got the bigger Zerg wave, which is helpful. Pathetic wretches. And here they come. So this is a just same as like StarCraft 2 Zerg. Uh, these guys are gonna roll along and they're gonna especially these guys back here, these artillery pieces. Do lots of So like I could have taken the healing in there, but It just didn't quite make it. They really wanted me though. Um, we're gonna see our see our Zerg wave defeated that wall, and now they're gonna be at this wall, uh, doing their best. Sony's gonna try to clear them out. This guy needs to get in there and really stop her from killing the whole Zerg wave if possible. 
We need to. I don't know if this guy's a healer or not. I don't think so. Uh, we'll come down south. And we'll go that way. So, all in all, I mean, this is sort of the rinse and repeat method of Heroes of the Storm. Now, what makes it interesting to me is the different combinations of characters that play together and work well together, as well as the different, different play styles that each character requires in order to be successful. We are um, clear of the Zerg. Huh. The Who this facility? It really is... Uh, oh, Just because you got to heal doesn't mean you come back because... Close enough, I keep blowing it all to me. I think I'm gonna get a uh I'm gonna get killed by the big gun. Uh we got greedy there. I don't know why we all went up to their to their step. This is their spawn point, so we can't actually get any closer to that, but if my alt would have been good at that time, it would have been perfect, but because they were all there together, but it wasn't, so that's Enemy okay. Keep annihilated. The bottom gate is plenty taken care of. We can head up here. Here we go again. Point. The beacons are powering up. Actually, I'll go to a beacon instead. Looks like Genji's going down here, so I'll go up here. We must return to battle. Attain control of those beacons. We don't want to face angry Zerg. That's right. I sure don't. I'll come back and help you in a second, buddy. Oh, you got it. Probably supposed to the boss. For Kalimdor. Sure, I can help kill the boss. Yeah, this would be a great big mech that's going to go clear the lane just like the Zerg was. I'm going to go up here and kill these things. I guess the boss is going to. So we got a Zerg wave coming from the south. We got the boss coming from the north. I'm pretty sure this game is over. Select the turret. Six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. And uh, that's a game. That's a match of Heroes of the Storm. And uh, they have daily quests and so forth that, that you can uh, join in and sort of get yourself, help get them accomplished. I hate it when it, an AI gets MVP. But let's see if we made the back screen. We sure did. Always vote for yourself, man. Or if one of your friends makes MVP, you always vote for them. But. Um, it doesn't do anything as far as I know, but here we go. We got a uh, portrait, which allows us to see that. We got a banner, which is great. We got uh, the spray, two-year anniversary spray. There we go. 
and he's not even get close to level five, which is what we need to to make that happen. But uh, we completed the the quest, so now we've got like a lot more quests to do if we wanted to do it. We do three games as a specialist, two games as a StarCraft hero. Uh, play eight games total. We get this gold. Gold can buy all kinds of things, like uh, characters and mounts and uh, banners and all kinds of things that I don't have any idea what they are. But uh, they can do, they can do that, and uh, you can do that if you want to. It's free to play. Oh, yeah, I should have said that maybe from the beginning. It is a free to play game. If you're into this sort of thing, if you've played League or Dota or whatever. You can jump in and start right away. And I think right now, they I don't know if they still were or are, but they were giving away like 20 free characters when you started up. That's one of the reasons why we all started playing again. And it's just been a really nice way to sort of sit down and play. Sort of has that player um, unknown battleground sort of feel to it where you jump in, you have a little bit of time, you can play one game, get something accomplished. Other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, uh, just know there are going to be two more episodes that I already recorded that I don't know that I'm going to record this about it uh, coming up in the next few days. Uh, you can check them out. The Subscribe to the channel. Be notified when they come live. And then just like it so that I know that this is something you guys want to see more of. And if so, we'll try to we'll try to get more people. We've got enough people that uh, we can fill out a whole team of five. We can start doing some actual, play actual players and things like that if that's what you want to see. So thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.